Hello everyone, I'm Christina Dandar of the Potted Boxwood and I am so excited to be here with my friend and fellow Preservation Park Cities board member, Meredith Farrell. Meredith, thanks for having us today. I'm so excited to be here. I'm Meredith Farrell with the Meredith Farrell Group at Compass and um, we found this house for my um, clients, gosh, I think it was back in December of 2020. Oh, wow. And um, I'm here for the first time since it's been remodeled after a two year renovation project. Um, so I'm so excited to come in and see it and take you with me. I can't wait, let's go inside. So here we are in the entry and I really just can't even tell you how excited I am to see this. Um, I remember standing here, we all fell in love with this, um, just the, the layout of the house, these nice generous room sizes, the center hall plan. This house was um, originally built by James Duff and um, it's on one of my most favorite streets in Highland Park. And um, we're just honestly so lucky that these homeowners had the vision and assembled a team which we'll talk about in a little bit of um, just some really creative and um, great minds to be able to put this house back together <clears throat> for a modern family. Oh this dining gosh. room, I mean, look I at the- I love this dining room, it's absolutely stunning. Make sure you get those moldings. Um, the homeowner was telling me that their interior designer Jenkins Interiors um, decided to add that element to the house, which I think is really special. Um, my house that was built in the 1940s had the details in there as well. Um, not quite as intricate as this. I love um, the wainscoting down here and the high gloss paint that they've chosen. The color really amazing. is just beautiful. All the colorways are just stunning and all the molding. I love the windows. They kept everything very original, but new, obviously. Um, look at that chandelier. They just did an amazing job. Okay, let's go look at the, um, the formal living room. I love the symmetrical arches here. They were original to the house, I believe. This oversized formal living room. I love the connection to the smaller living room over here, the new den addition. Um, I was told that this rope detail, which you oh, find, that. and that's so pretty. I love this. That's really interesting. And you find those in, in the homes, um, original homes, but their interior designer decided to add that as well. It was not originally here. Um, so I love how they just the flow of this yep. room and the light fixtures. Look at these intaglios. When I at the pot of boxwood, we love Leslie Jenkins and her team of Jenkins Interiors. They are amazing, and you can see her own personal home tour on the pot of boxwood. Um, so she's just really talented. So talented. And I believe this is an original fireplace. I think so. Yep. I mean, it That's looks like it. Told. Um, I went back yesterday for fun and just kind of looked at the old pictures. It looks very different. I love all the colors that they've selected. Maybe we need a before and after. We could do that. Some before and after <laughs> We could photos. do that. This room was, um, I love the size of it. The, I know that the family loves this room too. Just it's a cozy space. They have a TV in here. Um, these two windows were actually covered with bookshelves, I remember. And this room had wallpaper, I think it was a yellow and green wallpaper oh. with matching fabric on the chairs. Oh. <laughs> do, you see, do you see that? More, yep, more Yep, it's more. coming back, right? It's coming back. Um, and then there used to be a fireplace here. It was not functioning, so they decided to take that out and um, put these bookshelves, which were kind of similar shape to the ones that were covering the windows. So. I love the bookshelves. And we can explain, there's a little bit of 
commotion around here because we are shooting for the Preservation Park City tour, which will air for viewers, um, but this will be posted after. So if you missed it, this is your, your fabulous lucky day. Your, your lucky, lucky day. day. Now, I love this bar area. Love it. Look at that sink. And I don't, I can't remember what this transition was um, originally. We'll have to go back and look, but it makes a great transition to the addition. Um, so this was not here before. Correct. correct. Well, okay. they ha actually did have, um, they did have a den addition that was done after. I, I'm imagining it was probably done in the 70s at some time, and it really did not fit with um, the, the style of the original home. So um, these homeowners hired Paul Turney, who is one of the best architects here in Dallas, specializing in traditional homes. And he, um, along with Rusty Goff, their builder, decided to go ahead and take the addition um, completely off and then rebuild it to go more with the current style of the house or the original style of the house, actually. And I think they did just an amazing job. An amazing job. I just absolutely love it. And we should pop outside and see what's happening out there, too, just for a quick... So this pool and patio are new. Oh, wow. Um, and, you know, here in the Park Cities, our yards are not always large, and people don't always have the vision of how to fit in a pool, but that's the perfect size pool to me, still with lots of green space, garage, and back house. Wow. And Meredith, they, um, this is a family that has four young kids? Yes. Wow. And I think that that's really important, you know, as we continue to talk about preservation, that um, these old houses are so important for our neighborhood, and, um, and they can be restored and made to fit a modern family with four kids. <laughs> so I love that. And it just, it's, you know, it doesn't have to be overly large and grand to be functional. Which I think is so I important. agree. So now we can go check out the kitchen. And I love this space that they've created. This is where the family eats. So they have the formal dining room. They have the kitchen over there with the counters and the island. And this I fun. love this, how it's, again, yep. that laminated fabric. And it makes it great for kids and yep. indestructible. Just like overall, it's the whole, everything's so warm in the house. Yep, let's look over at the kitchen. So beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Look at the tile work for the backsplash. I love how it goes all the way I up. I do too. They've taken it all the way to the ceiling. But let's not forget this little nook right here. I love a Dutch door. And I love the brick floor. And the brick floor. Yep, me too. So fun? That is so fun. And again, the use of cafe curtains in the house is just awesome. Agreed. But it's just a super functional kitchen. I love everything that they've selected. Pretty funky areas. And then let's go look at the... I just love getting the full shot of, you know, mm -hmm. the great flow of this home. Kind of an up close with this tile. Such a unique tile. Isn't pretty. I love the sort of texture. I think it was hand cut, maybe. Really pretty. Really pretty. And then also look at even just at the brass detailing again <gasps> oh, of the cabinet. That's cabinets. so great. That's and that's great. is that in the cabinet or on the on top of the glass? On top of the glass. That's really pretty. And then I love this little vestibule coffee station, butler's pantry. Too. Little refrigerator doors. 
drawers, I should say. Pantry. I love the colors again. Everything just. And it's so cohesive mm -hmm. coming into the dining room again. So. Did they not just do the best job? They I really did. So happy for them and how this turned out. What a fun project. And let's get a peek into that powder bath. Okay. Let's see here. Lots of activity going on in the house today, Christina. Well, we have all the preservation <laughs> photo shoot happening and video shoot. Look at this sink in here. Wow. So pretty. It's really, really pretty. I love the, the paper. It's so sweet. But yeah, nothing feels overly, you know, contrived. No, nope. so pretty. Okay. You want to go upstairs? Yeah, let's go upstairs. So now we are upstairs, as you can see. I did want to just take a minute and just focus on the, we didn't talk about the banister downstairs, but they did leave the original banister. They did a high gloss um, on the, the rail. I've had a lot of, I have a lot of clients that always ask how they can update um, the banisters. And I love that they left this classic, but they just did the high gloss and painted the, the balustrades white. Um, let's go into the master. So this was an addition to the house. We are over the den that we talked about earlier that is, was added on to. So pretty. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I love just kind of the pops of old, but also the very serene and relaxing. Yes, I love the ceiling. So even though this was a new addition, it really feels so intentional and like it was always here, part of the house, which I think is so important. Just wait till you see the master bathroom. Carrera marble floors and counters. I love the brass touches. Oh, the brass is beautiful. And look at the brass outlining of the floor. I've actually, I don't know that I've ever seen that. I love that. The paint colors are so pretty. No, I love the cafe curtains also. And this tub, oof. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. All right, let's go look at the kids' rooms. The daughter's bathroom is one of my favorite. Pretty sconces. Um, isn't this pretty? This oh lavender my shade. This is fantastic. And I love all the, the beautiful carpets in each room. Um, the scallop detail. I on know, that. isn't that pretty? The valance. And then you're right, the bathrooms are so special. This yeah. is a little. I just love the throwback. It's Jill very, Jill. very vintage looking. I love that. And look how they did the stripe with the tile. I love, and they love even that. have wallpaper in here, which is really kind of adds a special touch. Yes, you're right. That tile stripe is really pretty and unusual. Lots of thought has gone into this project. They worked on this for, I think, almost two years. Um, so it was quite the undertaking, but turned out just really so special. Blue and pink patterns here in color scheme. I love this carpet as well. It's red. Bingham's is really talented. They, they are. Do, they do a great job. They are. Now, this is one of my favorite things, the exposed fabric in the cabinetry. Yep. That's really pretty. Pretty, Perfect. very pretty detail. Um, and then in here, we're in their son's bedroom. Two boys get to share this nice big room. This actually, Christina, was the original master. Oh, interesting. Um, and they, this room has had quite a transformation. Um, I 
I love this bathroom. Perfect for, perfect for two boys. It really is. Love all the details. And I also love how she wasn't afraid to use wallpaper in, in the young children's rooms. I think that, um, you know, I feel like if you show and teach kids that, that you know, this is nice, don't. You can hope. <laughs> you can hope. But it's really pretty and um, just had such vision. Absolutely. And now we can go up and see what's upstairs. Yeah, so let me just talk about this for a minute. So um, originally this was, um, this was an attic and um, just had like the pull down stairs and their architect was able to actually um, allow for a full staircase wow. to come in and utilize the square footage that was that was a really nice size attic but now look at this wow this it's, is a great for kids is it i mean with four children like to have this big of a play space really is such a bonus and um i know their kids have really enjoyed it as have the parents <laughs> Go to the third floor. Right, right. <laughs> I love the little window seats under each dormer. Oh, I didn't even see that. Look at that. Every kid wants a built-in trundle bed. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, Meredith, this has been so fun to see so all of these, these spaces. And so fun. What a great find for this family. We're happy for them and um, hope more young families will treasure these older houses and um, team up with our talented architects and designers to figure out how to make them their own.